Uh, my name is João Gonzalez. I'm a, an animator, uh, a director and composer from Portugal. And I studied in Royal College of Art in the MA program for animation. Uh, so my film is about uh, father and son who live in a very surrealistic landscape, uh, a tiny house attached to a palk leaf. And they survive by having a routine every day in which they uh, sell the ice they produce daily uh, to the village that's down below, far away. So uh, like my two other films that I did, uh, one of them was also in RCA, Nestor. I always start with an image that comes from my subconscious and, uh, and use them as metaphors to talk about something that uh, concerns me and that I'm interested interested in. So in this case, I knew it was going to be a film about loss, but I always try to situate it in a very unrealistic and surrealistic landscape. And it's something that animation allows and that I'm particularly interested in the medium. In a way, making films about certain topics uh, is an, a, a bit therapeutic for me because it uh, makes me learn a bit more about myself and my relationship with a certain topic. For example, my first year film at RCA uh, was called Nestor. And it was a film about um, a character who suffers from obsessive compulsive disorder, which is something that I also identify with. And uh, it's interesting because making a film that was so OCD at this score, uh, at the end actually made me better with my own condition. So I feel like in a way I do films to be more at peace with the topics that concern me. Uh, I remember uh, exactly the day when I had the idea for this film and uh, I, I'm normally uh, usually a, nor a big procrastinator and I remember that I had the idea for this film, like the main idea for the film, it was about like 4 a.m. on a day before I had the, the presentation where I would present my idea for the film and I remember it was 4 a.m. and I got really excited about it. And I, I remember that even the, the next day when we had the presentation, because I had the idea so recently, I decided not to talk about everything that I thought about last night because I thought, oh, maybe I, it was quite late and I just thought it was a good idea because I was very tired. Uh, but yeah, it was, the idea was born like six hours before a presentation that I should have prepared in advance. Uh, it was a very beautiful moment. We were uh, watching the nominations, nomination announcements. Uh, via Zoom, because our, our team, not a very big team, but we were spread all over Portugal and, and France. And so we also thought, uh, saw the, the, the moments at the same time. And it, it was just like a huge honor for, for the entire team that worked so hard for this film. Uh, and also it was very good for, for in Portugal because it was, you know, it was the first Portuguese film to be nominated for an Oscar. And that was very impactful on the media to push attention not only for the films that we do a call animation, but for the Portuguese cinema in general. Because, uh, and in particular in uh, Portuguese animation, which is one of the most powerful, I think, like uh, powerhouses of of authorial animation right now. And, uh, we, you know, we do films for them to be seen for, by as many people as possible. And uh, and this, the Oscars have that media, media mediatic effect that everyone knows about what they are even if they are not in the industry if, and if they can that can help uh, to bring more attention to our films and our from other portuguese directors films that's an, uh, quite an accomplishment for us i did my masters in rca and uh, it was it was a turning point for me. Uh, I came from a BA in uh, in Portugal. Uh, it was a multimedia arts uh, course. At the time, I didn't know I wanted to pursue animation. It was in that BA that I understood that I really wanted to, to, to pursue animation. And I feel like I had a good balance between both kinds of studies because uh, the Portuguese way of studying in the course was very technical in terms of, it was very useful for me because I learned a lot about software, a lot, a lot about like technical stuff. And RCA was just this great place where you can just go crazy and they give you all the creative freedom that you need to develop your artistic voice. Uh, so for me, RCA was the, the place where I, I really found what I really what I really like to do. And uh, also, as it, uh, people know, like RCA, one of the biggest strengths is the community itself, the people you're surrounded with. 
not only the, the teachers, but the fact that we're always seated next to people from different courses that always unconsciously like influences your way of thinking. So those two years for me were, were, were a place where I found my artistic voice. I mean, I haven't found my artistic voice yet. I, I think no one ever does, but it really helped me getting into the path of maybe one day fully discovering my artistic voice.